So here's the situation. When you're in Google Drive and you want to print a bunch of documents, it's a little bit of a pain because when you try and download a whole folder or a whole bunch of Google Docs, it downloads as a zip file. And then when you try and download that or extract that, it does them all as Google, not Google Docs, but Word documents. And then to print all of those is a big pain. You still have to open each one and hit print. So there is a faster way to do this. And the fast way to do it is to actually combine all the files into a PDF file. So that's what I'm going to do. So that way I can do a quick print of multiple files. I'll go through those steps now. But the first thing you need to know is that you need to connect something called PDF Mergy to your Google Drive account. So I'm going to go here to this gear first and go to my settings. Once I'm in my settings, I'm going to go over here where it says manage apps. And then I'm going to go here where it says connect more apps. I know that's a lot of clicking, so I apologize for that. There's probably other ways to do this part as well, but you know, for the moment, uh, I'm just going about this route. Here's where I'm going to search PDF mergey, hit enter. It'll come up. It's this item right here. You'll hit the blue button to connect it. And most likely it'll also ask you to, if it doesn't immediately, it'll eventually ask you to have access to your Google Drive account and whatnot. So make sure you allow those things. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find some files. And most likely as a teacher, I'm gonna get those files from my Google Classroom folder. I'm gonna go to a class where I know I have uh, multiple files that I could print off. So I'm going to go to this class right here, and I'm going to go to a specific assignment that I know will have quite a few. And so here's a bunch of documents all lined up in a row in this assignment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them. Um, and so you can do that a couple of different ways. One way that I like to do it, actually, to me, it's the fastest way is I when I click on one and I hit control A on a Chromebook or a PC, it selects everything. I'm assuming on a Mac, it's command A. I don't use a Mac very often, so I'm assuming that's it. But on a, on a Chromebook or a PC, it's control A. It selects all of them. Um, another way you can do it is to hold down shift and click on the first one, click on the last one, and it'll select them all. But I like to use control A. It's one of my favorite weapons on a device. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click or do a two finger click on one of these documents. Doesn't matter which one. And now when I go to open with PDF Mergy is right here. So I select that. It's going to take me to a website and it does take some time to load this. So there's a little bit of processing time here. Now, right now, right away, it it went ahead and accessed all of my files in here. The first time you use it, there will be a blue button here asking you to access your Google Drive. So please make sure you check that. And so here's all these files right here, ready to go. And I can actually change the order of them if I so prefer. I can actually drag and drop them around if I want. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit Merge. And it takes a little time to process this one as well. But eventually it's going to prompt me to download uh, a PDF file of all of those Google Docs. Okay, once it is finished, then you have a couple more options. You can save the PDF directly to your Google Drive and print it from there if you want to keep it. Uh, if you just want to print it directly as a download, you would choose Save PDF to your computer. So it's whatever you prefer. So if you want that existing item, that PDF file, directly into your drive, you can add that. I'm going to go ahead and just download this one, call it what I want. And I'm going to hit OK. It's going to go to my downloads. Uh, if I'm on a PC, it would show up down here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the PDF file. What it has done is it has made them all into PDF files. Not only that, but it combined all of the PDF files into one long PDF file. And so now that I have this, I can now print this off as I so wish. And I would be able to have them all printed off in one big chunk.